to discuss using your relationship with your donors to overcome bumps in the road along the way to a gift. I worked with the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation and cultivated a strong relationship with a relatively young man who has diabetes, but also has strong relationships with great wealth overseas. And we wanted this fellow, his name Mike, to both contribute to the campaign that we were working with, as well as to bring in his client from overseas to support the campaign. So we set up a meeting, I set up a meeting to discuss Mike's gift of $250,000 and I brought with me my boss and the chairman of the campaign, Robert Wood Johnson IV. We sat down with Mike and had a nice chat. And when it came time to talking to Mike, he had to decline the request to our surprise. He shared that things had changed in the last week and he was not certain about his future uh, with, with this particular client. We thanked him very much, we understood, we left. I felt terrible about it, both from a professional point of view and for Mike. But I got back to the office, gave Mike a call, had lunch with him the next day, and he agreed uh, to give a gift of $100,000 uh, because we both knew he would land on his feet and that he wanted to be part of the campaign. So no is not always the end of the story and using one's relationship to address the issues and to bring home what is near and dear to a donor's heart is what is most important. Thank you, more to come.